Hey guys, Shaper 1000 here. So, I'm loaded up, ready to roll. Right, Mama? Yeah. I'll film some of the ride with you. That's why he's on here. I don't know how well it'll stay, but I'll fast forward some of the ride out there. It is 5.8 miles. So it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get there. So I need to start taking off and heading on out. So let's do this, right Monk? Yep. <laughs> All right guys, let's go. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always okay guys we made it tractor run fine trailer did fine uh, had two deputies they passed me neither one of them said anything right before I got here the water management or game warden I guess you can call him he passed me going the other direction. He didn't say anything, so. But we made it. I think I'm gonna set up right here. So, that way I can see the fire. Over there's where I was gonna go try to do a little fishing. Now, over across the road, about a half a mile, there's a fishing. Looks like a good fishing spot, but I don't know if I feel like walking that far, but. So I don't know if it'll be anything in that marsh or not but this same fire ring we had last time we camped out here at this spot and our picnic table was over there i had to move it they tell you not to move them but we had it right in this area i think it was right in here but i may back up just a little bit now i don't know we'll see but i'll get you on a stand and you know I'll get this unpacked and you can watch me set up.
guys. This is what these were for to help protect that up in there. As you can see, they rip. But anyway, this seam is actually wrong. It should be on the other side. This should be turned around to where the water's running this way, not this way. But that's okay because I'm not expecting rain. And besides, I brought some Vaseline that I can run down through there. And uh, that'll seal it just fine. Oh, a little crooked up here. I mean, it's okay. But. There, doesn't matter long as it stays up there we go that's better that'll work I put this off to the side on purpose this time so I can get in and out easier and if it rains these will drop down and I can type my guide guidelines up and I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes what time is it turn my watch on here I don't know what that says what almost a quarter after four so uh i made a couple stops checked on my checked on my gear and everything made sure it was all okay and um i got here about an hour and 20 minutes that thing must be running right around four and a half to five miles an hour I heard a noise I didn't like underneath it, like a pulley rattling, but that's okay. We'll check it when we get it home. Um, but yeah, that'll work. Like I said, if it rains, I can drop these way down here. And then, of course, that'll put these down closer to the ground. Pretty much on the ground if I want it. And it'll be fine. I messed up. I don't know if you've seen it in the fast thing or not, but I grabbed the wrong one and got my hammock out. I'm not going to be needing my hammock because I'm going to be laying on that. So, but right now I'm going to get this thing fired up because I am getting bit up. I did put some spray on. So, but yeah. And then I'll blow up, blow up my air mattress. I got to do it. The old fashioned way, I literally got to blow it up, but okay, so I'll get this whole section to myself again. Last time there was somebody up there by that bent tree, they were way up there, but nobody was in here and nobody was here. But now there's nobody up through here, they're all over on the other section over there. So, all right, let me get this thing fired up, put some more spray on, and then, um. Yeah, I'll get my bed roll out and I'll fast forward you through that. But, you know, I don't want to bore you guys and I don't want to be, I don't want to do something everybody else is doing and always do. So I'll just put you here and I'll kick you guys back on here in just a minute. I brought, uh, let me see. I've got. This camera, I've got Old Blue, which was on the hood recording. Um, I've got my trail cam. I've got my drone. I consider that a camera. I got my phone. That's got a camera on it. And I brought my body cam, which I didn't wear it yet. But so, you know, I've got six cameras. Uh, I'm, I should be pretty good. So there we go. All right, let me get my bedroll in here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with my gear. Okay, so got this little light that Ben sent, ben sent us and this thing is just an absolute charm. I know it doesn't look bright right now, but it's just one little LED and um, I can also make it like a lantern. So, or that way is like a flashlight. You can set it down on a table, whatnot. You can hang it, and it hangs by the charging cord. So I'm just going to put this right up here. There we go. Just like that. 
Now I have my lantern. It's got a medium, or it's got a low and high on it. And of course, I'll, it takes no time to charge it. Oh, this is going to be nice. Yeah, this is going to be all right, guys. I didn't bring a pillow, but I have a change of clothes in this bag that I can use for a pillow. So, and I've got, that's just a trash bag. Uh, I did bring trash bags in case it rained. But since I'm out here, I'll be all right now. Because if it rains Sunday, you know, I can just put everything. Because Monkey's coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday. And she's going to spend the night. So Sunday, you know, if need be, I can just have her um, just throw everything in the truck. You know what I mean? And she can take it, like all my camera equipment and stuff. Um, so I think we should get a fire going. Yeah. Maybe get rid of some of these mosquitoes. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> that thing over on the table, that thermocell is working pretty good. Um, so, but it feels like there's a, a slight breeze out. I think I'm going to be all right. I forgot my tarp. Just in case I wanted to bring a tarp, I forgot it. Because, again, Monkey was, well, why are you bringing so much stuff? You're ready to go, aren't you? I'm like, no, I don't even have my camera equipment on there. Why you need so much? I'm like, here we go. <laughs> but she was like, oh, I get it. Because it looks like a lot, you know. But, like, once I get the sides on this thing, I can just set my stuff in there. I don't have to take the time to strap each and every item down. I can just set my stuff in inside, and it'll be good to go. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, it's, it's worked out good so far. Um... I kind of put this off to one side again for this and also I can put some stuff up here keep it out of the rain if it does rain it's pretty cloudy it's not supposed to until Sunday so um, all right let's go ahead and we'll get a fire going I'm not ready to eat yet it's only 434 so using my watch a lot uh, monkey She'll take it walking with her so she knows how far she's walked and she's going three miles now every time, so. But yeah, all right guys. Let me get you set up over here by the fire pit. And I'll get my stuff out and we'll make a fire. I brought, I brought the ax that I got for Christmas in that kit that came from Walmart. I, I don't know what happened to my machete. We can't find it. <laughs> we used it in front of the house and that was the last time either one of us have, has ever seen it. I remember seeing it in the garage right after that. But anyway, so I brought my hatchet with that. The hatchet I use um, the most is the one that Brian and Marla sent me. Thanks, guys. They sent it to me. And I keep it in with our main stuff because I don't want it hanging off that backpack. Because if I'm, if I'm packing in somewhere, I just got bit. If I'm packing in somewhere, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to lose it. That's a nice hatchet. It's heavy. It feels good. And it works great. So I just brought that. I just have that one hanging on my pack. Because even a crappy hatchet's better than no hatchet. You know. So if you need one. So yeah. Um, yeah pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy so far. Um, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm going to gather up some small stuff. I did bring my little miniature saw in case I need it. I'm going to gather up some small stuff, and we'll get a fire going. Um, I might give it a little bit. I'm going to take a break and cool down. Because if, if it gets windy, I don't like building a fire, you know. Um, I think everything would be all right. But just in case it does come up wind, I don't like to have a fire. And it's not necessary. I don't need to stay warm. I'm in Florida. I'm sweating. So... Let's see, we got somebody coming in here. So, yeah. Got a bunch of wood on the back of his. Looks like Ford Explorer, so he must be looking for a spot. All right, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll get everything prepped, and then I'll be back with you. Oh, by the way, I got story time tonight. These are not my stories, but they're true stories about this area that we're in right now. They're Bigfoot stories. So they should be interesting. They're documented times, dates, everything. There's a bunch of squirrels over there hopping around. 
There's three of them. Four. I should have brought my BB gun. Squirrel season's in, you know. Alright, so anyway, that should be fun. We may take a night night walk later. I, like I said, I think Monkey's coming out because she's documenting this or she's filming it. So I think she wanted to come out. Uh, I'll tell you what we could do. I'll take a little break and then we'll put our Christmas lights up. I did bring them. <laughs> so she wants to do a little filming and then she's going to go back home. So it's still solo, guys, but I'm just having a visitor. Um, it'd be no different from solo camping and then talking to your camping neighbor or whatever. I know we're not wild bushcraft in here, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I like to bring you guys along with me, so stick around. I'll get you set up. Let me get my lights, and we'll figure out a way to hook them on here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'll figure something out. Hang tight, guys. <laughs> Oh, cute. Monkey was worried because I just brought enough food for supper. She's like, what if you get hungry in the middle of the night? I said, I'll be fine. So I open this up and here these are. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Here's my, here's my little saw. Fits right in here perfect. Of course, I got my extra cigarettes. Extra tent steak. So, yeah, we'll put those in there. About time to put the lights up. Okay guys, I was talking to this guy here. We stand here talking. We saw the snake. Hope he don't come up in my shelter tonight. <laughs> he could be coming up getting warm. Got a coral snake here. I'm not gonna get real close because that's venomous. Red touch yellow, kill a fella. I didn't see him when I came in. I've only been here about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Hmm. Yeah, he'll give you a nasty bite. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I just hope he stays over there and don't come this way because, well, I'm right here. And as you can see, it wouldn't take much for him to get up there, climb in my sleeping bag trying to get warm or some shit. So, all right, let's get our lights on. I don't know if they're they were brighter than that the other night and maybe just because it's daytime or I got rechargeable batteries in it and they're not dead so I'm not sure what's going on I was going to bring some clothes pins got some plastic clothes pins left over from when we decorated the boat for the boat parade I was gonna bring a couple of them and just to clip on you know every so often but I don't know we'll wait till it gets dark I I brought extra batteries so if they are low I'll just switch the batteries so we're gonna go I don't know one of these trees here I'm not sure which one yet uh, I'm gonna put the trail cam up I may not even put it in a tree. I did bring an extra tripod, so I'll probably just put it on a tripod. So, those are up and on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut them off, just in case it is the batteries. Like I said, I brought extras. They are on, but we'll see what it looks like after dark. I'll go ahead and shut them off right now, for now. I should have did it the other way so I could have this side up too, um, but that's okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a fire, build a fire. Um, 
I can't find, I had uh, my uh, dryer lint in a sandwich bag. You know, I thought I put it in my, I'd swear I'd put it in my, uh, in my backpack, but it's not in there anywhere unless I'm overlooking it, but I looked in all the compartments several times. So we're just gonna make do with what we got here. So I'm gonna scrape off some of this magnesium into a pile. When I get ready to strike it, I'll bring you back. All right, I got a little bit down in there. Hopefully it'll be enough. Let's see. I got a little piece of paper from the instructions from my uh, Christmas lights. Let's see if we can get this. didn't quite get it into the magnesium there. But we got flame. There we go. Wasn't too bad. All right. All right, we got some fire going on here now. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this going. Now, it did cool off a little bit, but the breeze went down. Um, but I haven't seen one mosquito since I lit up, well, since about 20 minutes after I lit up the thermocell. I haven't seen one, not one. It's just like they went away, so I think that thing works, man. But we'll see. So let me go ahead and get this going. Got some palm fronds here, some old man's beard. Monkey, I think was in one of her videos, she was calling it peat moss. <laughs> I was like, it's not peat moss. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna keep on keeping on here. I'm gonna throw a bunch of stuff on there and get a fire going. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it is called is Spanish moss, also known as old man's beard. Look at this, that's pretty cool. We got a green flame. That's all wood, I didn't put anything in there to make it do that. Okay guys, so before it gets too late, <laughs> late, it's only like 10 to six. But I'm going to go ahead and make my food already stirring my rope up in the tree to hang my pots and pans so it doesn't bring in any bears just in case. Um, That's what we got. Wow. Mama hooked the guy up, didn't she? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think she just ripped a whole... Look at that wing though. We had a 24 pound turkey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to eat all this. Let me get my knife. Um, so it'll just, it'll go hang up in the tree. And I'll have some for tomorrow. Yes, there are kids playing. He was worried about bothering me because he says, I got like six kids. I'm like, that's, that's cool because that's better than being out here than sitting at home doing this. So I said, that didn't bother me. You know, I raised my kids and grandkids and it's not a big deal to me. So they're playing ball and having a good time. aside for a minute.
I had <laughs> a metal fork in there. She must have took it out, or maybe I took it out, so I'm going to have to use this. Um, I brought a little snack for later, and I brought, in case it gets chilly, brought a couple things of hot chocolate. I got some water in there. So I think what I'll do... Wow, that thing's not even gonna, it's not even going, I'm gonna have to cut it again. Yeah, that, that should work, because I didn't bring any oil, so. All right, let's light this up. There we go. This should be fun story time later. Also, I like to get my pants hot first, but I did bring a pair of gloves this time. Because last year on my solo, <laughs> I used my bag and I burnt my bag up. So, let me grab, grab a pair of gloves here. actually brought two pair they were only a dollar at the Dollar Tree so I brought these and these whoa yeah, it's starting to get hot so let's go ahead and throw this in there turn it down a little bit all right so I got my gloves I'm just going to heat my noodles and potatoes up together because that's the way I like to eat them anyway. So let's go ahead and. Whoops. Well, I guess that'll work. <laughs> so I got some mashed potatoes. These are homemade noodles. I made these yesterday morning. she worries about me eating she knows I have, haven't ate all day and that's my favorite part right there is the skin mm. well, it was a good turkey okay so now I'm gonna cook this up I'll be back with you when I put this on all right, so turkey should be hot enough. I put a couple of them noodles in there because they're kind of greasy. There we go. Now we'll put my mashed potatoes and noodles up here. I'm just going to eat out of these pans. Um, so, yeah, like I said uh, earlier, you know, I don't want to be somebody that just does everything everybody else is doing. They all do the same thing, you know, walking into the camp. Okay, we get it close up a stepping in a mud puddle we get it um, close up of putting the pack down close up of pulling out their hatchet or their saw watching them process firewood watching them chop up that firewood watching them close up throwing the firewood down and then they build the fire and then you know that's they pretty much make something to eat and and that's pretty much it they say good night and they do a time lapse a nighttime you know them sleeping whatnot then the next day it's okay well thanks for watching we'll see you sometimes they'll make breakfast and most of them don't even talk anymore some of them do but I just you know I just don't get I call them B channels because it's like an old B movie. That's really all it is, is nothing but B-roll. And I don't like that. It's, you know, we get it. You're hiking back into your camp area. You know, you got a close up of, or if they're driving in, they got to get a close up of the, the tire going through a mud puddle. Come on guys, you know, talk to people, talk and tell stories. That's why I try to have different stories. You might hear an airboat in the background. There's a couple airboats over there. Uh, boating around 
across the swamp over there. But you know what I mean? It's just, it just gets old. You can fall asleep on one, wake up two hours later, and it'll be another one, but you wouldn't really have missed anything because then he's doing the same thing. Or she. I mean, now everybody's doing it. You get these YouTubers that, you know, you check their their channel out and they got like 699 subscribers but they have 200,000 views on a video they posted last week and it's like how and I I'm lucky I can't break 40 50 views on hardly any video let alone a camping video and I try to do different things I try to tell a story or you know try to make something interesting something different so I don't know you know what I mean I don't I don't get it ASMR or whatever I come on guys you know it's just it's all they're all doing the same exact thing though because they're all jumping on a bandwagon of this and then everybody's buying these camper vans and you know super shelters everybody's building a little cabin a little log super shelter or something like that and you know I'm doing something different I'm building a hut in our backyard in Florida you think I can get any views? Hell no. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. And my turkey's nice and warm. I'm going to go ahead and eat. And then I'll be back with you. I don't know. Monkey must not be coming. I told her. Uh, I wouldn't expect her after. I said, you know, if you're not there by sundown, I'll know you. Because she had a couple projects. She probably got into a project. So, uh, So yeah, I just told her, you know. Don't don't worry about it. She wanted to come out and see the lights on, but you know, if she don't don't make it, that's fine. Still a little early, but she I think she wanted to come out when it was daylight and stay for a little bit, but and bring Bruno out. So hopefully everything's all right there. But who knows? Our fire's doing pretty good. So let me eat, and then I'm gonna hang my food up. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that my leftovers in my dirty pans and then uh, we'll get on something else maybe we'll take a night walk or something stick around so I got me a tent stake in the ground here I got that wrapped around there just from Dollar Tree rope I threw that plastic thing up around there and got it to come down but I got a hook over there I just picked up at the house I was like hey I could probably use that for something Monkey's like, I'm sure you can. I'll show you what I'm gonna use it for. All right, so. Recording? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure they're not crossed. Hook this in here. And I'm going to hook this is double bagged. I'm gonna hook these in here. Then I'm going to pull it up into the tree. And then I'm going to wrap the end of it down around that yellow. Uh, that yellow tent stake there so let's put this up in the tree here there it goes and I believe that'll be heavy enough to bring back down when I need it there it is it's up in the tree now, I'm just going to wrap this around that tent stake. Not the camera leg. <laughs> okay. Also, as you guys probably saw, um, I've got it in a airtight container something like a Tupperware but it's not Tupperware <sighs> sorry guys I'm 
I'm just going to wrap this around here a couple times. Tie it off. And we should be all right. That's the way we hang our lantern up too, so. There it is. Up there high enough to keep the bears away. Well, crap. There she is. Ain't very bright. I think my batteries are, like I said, they're rechargeable, but I think they're bad. So, <laughs> I was just laying inside there, checking things out. As you can see, everything's inside now. I don't know how well this is. Started raining. It was just a mist, but a rain. Just all the same. Wasn't supposed to rain tonight. Um... I still got 18 minutes on this battery. I still got two more batteries. I got a, a big battery that was sent to me by a viewer. Uh, it's fully charged. And then I've got uh, another regular size battery. Like I said, these are all aftermarket batteries because the one Sony battery that I have that came with one of these cameras, uh, it just quit working, won't, it won't charge or nothing. It just one day I put it on a charger, it wouldn't charge. So, it does nothing when you put it in the camera. And then the other one I lost in the river because my my camera fell over. Thank God the whole camera didn't go in. But, uh, that was my other Sony battery. Those last a long time. So, but I also have Old Blue. And I got two extra batteries. Well, I ran one down when I was just pulling in here because I used it pretty much almost the whole way here then uh um so I got two extra fully charged batteries one's a Sony battery and the other two are so I use the the other two first and then the Sony battery I'll I'll use if I need it and like I said I've got the uh the trail cam out there but I'm I'm I haven't got it turned on yet because I'm going to be walking around and stuff. I may turn it on here shortly. I don't know if we're going to go on our walk or if I'll just go into uh, telling you guys the stories. I'm not really going to tell them to you. I'm going to read them to you because they're documented. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to finish my pop here. And I have a special drink that also has a story with it. I have had the... Um, the brand before but i never had the uh that flavor so it should be pretty cool um this is about oh it's still going i still i see a little smoke still coming so when that runs down i got an extra one here i also got i also brought three extra packs and an extra bottle of juice for um butane so that way for when she comes tomorrow you know we're not setting up the tent we're just going to sleep in the back of the truck so i'll film some of that for you guys too so anyway guys i should have brought my inverter and my fan no joke it is sweltering out here it was nice and cool when i started the fire it was nice nice little breeze nice and cool now just super duper hot i got these lights on so the mosquitoes are kind of they're still here this thing's not making them leave but i'm not getting bit but i hate when you know uh when i can just hear them like buzzing around my head i can't stand that you know uh i hate that <laughs> but i do have some spray too if i need it i'll put it on so anyway guys i'll be back with you like i said i don't know about the night walk because i don't want to get you know half a mile up here into the woods and then it start pouring down rain but it, it did say 20 percent chance we are in florida it's going to rain 20 percent just how much 
hopefully that's all we'll get tonight although i wouldn't mind if it did rain you know try my my little shelter out that'd be pretty cool so all right guys hang tight i got ben's light the light ben gave us right there love that little light it just gives off a nice little glow um, it's not enough to film by see it, it could be if I would lighten up the uh, on here up oh, see here comes the rain I don't know if you can hear it I'll be quiet for a second yeah it's not done raining yet so <laughs> all right guys let me finish my coke and then uh, we'll talk about something. <laughs> uh, I was going to have her. Uh, I, would, I actually had a pack, uh, the laptop, in my laptop that used to be her dad's. That's, that's just still called Joe's laptop. And I was like, no, because if something falls off or whatever, I don't want to break it. So I said, well, when you come out tonight, just bring that with you. Uh, apparently, she's not coming out because so, I was going to watch a Christmas story. So, but she'll bring it tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, and we'll have an inverter, so I'll make sure my batteries are charged. Like I said, I'll film some more for you tomorrow, too. It'll be on a different video, though. Yeah, it's a real fine, misty rain. So, yeah, it should be... I just felt a cold breeze. That's nice. So I really don't want it to storm, but I don't mind if it rains because it'll cool it down and we'll get to try out our our shelter. See how well it does. So anyway, guys, again, hang, hang on. I'll be back with you. All right, guys. So I hear a car up here. Sounds like it's by the gate blowing its horn. It might be monkey. So we're going to walk up here. We're going to find out because... We was joking about that. I said, I'll say to the camera, some idiot is up here blowing the horn like mad. So, so that could be her. So, spitting rain a little bit. So, let's go see if that's monkey. I'll kick you back on in a minute. So that vehicle stood down here blowing its horn. I see a light. We're almost to the gate. All right. Hear it? Okay, <laughs> hang on guys. Okay guys, so my battery went dead just as I was coming up to the truck. Yeah, monkey couldn't get in the gate. As you can see, we're here. <laughs> so when that happens, I have to recharge that battery and put it back in because if I don't, do that it wants to it says recover data but when you do that you usually lose everything so I'm only on three out of 31 so I'm on old blue right now why do you bring so many cameras good thing this is why yeah I was in in the tent there and I was about half asleep because the trip to pain in that turkey I ate kicked my ass <laughs> and I heard I was like oh no that was supposed to be a joke it wasn't a joke she couldn't get in the gate I couldn't get in the gate <laughs> so I walked my ass a half a mile out there to get you in the gate I thought this was the second the time she was here she was here she said about six which was about the time we was eating I say yeah. we because of them guys yeah I was <laughs> And I waited, and I honked, and I kept trying, and then I talked to this guy, and he said, oh, there, where I was, there was nobody out there, and I'm like, I know he's here. So, I figured they changed the they did lock uh, at 5 o'clock, so. Well, it's hard to hear anything with them stupid airboats running constantly. Yeah. So, I went home. And I went on his computer trying to see if they put another code in on his e in his email. Couldn't find nothing, so that didn't work. 
I was like, you know, I'm going to go try again because he knew I was bringing the laptop. So he might get worried that I didn't show up. So, um, and I was kind of concerned because if he's out here by himself and nobody else is here and there's a bear, and then of course, me coming back the second time, there's a fire truck in front of me coming this way. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God. Do you have lights and sirens yep, going? Yeah, he had it all going. So, so did you think I blew up? or? I, I figured there was something going on. Because I got five gallons of gas <laughs> over there. I got a propane tank here, somewhere here. And you uh, blow I think up I put a it lot. Over and I blow up a lot. I was more worried that the bear got you and you called 911. Could have been that coral snake over there. I didn't think about <laughs> that. No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I was going to walk back here, but it was so dark. I was like, no, I'll wait until morning if I have to walk. And here he comes with the little flashlight. <laughs> Did you flash see my light, light flashing? Yeah, I finally saw it, and I was like, oh, here he comes. Because I had it on the strobe? Yeah. So. Yeah, your attention, and then I thought, oh, my God. Well, and then I said to the camera, I don't know when it shut off, but I said to the camera, I'm just going to keep you guys rolling in case that's not her and I get attacked. <laughs> well, it's a good thing because my camera, my battery went dead. Yeah. The last time I had it on, it said 18 minutes. Oh, wow. And then I shut it off, mm -hmm. and that was the last time I had it on. Oh. And I thought you would have brought the tractor, so I was trying to hear the track oh yeah i'm going to tear down all that no i thought you would have unhooked it and then just took the tractor that's what i thought you would have done well if i had a jack on the front of that trailer yeah you could have done that so i didn't see you the first time so i i'm glad i came back the second time <laughs> <laughs> all right i gotta wait on this because i want to go ahead and import this stuff onto this Still on three of thirty-one. I want to get all this stuff imported so I can at least, if it, if the card messes up, I I don't lose everything. Cause that's you know that's half my damn video there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I'll be back with you. Well, that's Monkey's camera. I don't know if she forgot it because she said you just want me to leave my camera in case you know I'm having problems with this. And I said, no, no, I'll get, I said, I've got plenty of cameras. I said, I've got old blue. So I don't know if she did this on purpose. She just pulled out, and I was flashing my light at her. But, of course, she's looking straight ahead, so hopefully she don't need it. I'll take care of it for her. <laughs> I am going to leave something on there for her, not tell her. I'm going to say, you forgot your camera. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, let's turn this on. Hey, monkey, you forgot your camera. <laughs> I tried to stop you, but hopefully you don't need it. <laughs> okay, let's stop recording now. Because she's documenting what I'm doing here. Look at those lights, how dim they are now. All right, let's shut this off. Those take the same batteries as old blue, the one I'm using now. Uh, it's going. 13 out of 32. 32? There shouldn't be... Because 60C... That camera, what I don't like about it is... It automatically saves thumbnails of every... Every clip you do, it saves a thumbnail. So there were 60 clips and i just only importing the uh the video clips i don't know why it says 32. Hmm. okay i'll be back with you guys just had an airboat just right right up to the i seen tire tracks they unload them there but he ran right up to the bank Sounds like a small block Chevy. All right, I gotta clean this lens off.
is what I got to drink. I know everybody does these reviews too, but you know, I've always brought something different to drink, whether I'm filming or not. Let's see, Arizona fruit punch. That is fog you guys are seeing coming off the lake. Well, that swamp. It was walking across a swamp and my brother spotted it first, but I couldn't see it over the grass. I wasn't tall enough. That's not far from here. 